Hello, huge welcome to you to this yin yoga session. I do hope this finds you well and looking forward to your practice. So today we're going to take our hips and our back on a bit of a journey. So we're going to do wide knee to child's pose, seal pose to start to open the back and swan, sleeping swan to open the back and the hips. Then we're going to come to square pose and of course relaxing in Shavasana with a little caterpillar in between. All right, so hopefully the whole body will feel wonderful. So as always, please just do what feels comfortable for you. Do have cushions and bolsters and pillows, whatever you have to support yourself so you can really relax and sink and let go in the poses. All right, so we'll start with a few nice settling breaths. So sitting however you're comfortable and then lift up through the spine if you're happy to, then let your eyes gently close. If you prefer them open, of course, that's fine. It's your practice. So we'll have a nice deep inhale together. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And keeping this nice rhythmic breath throughout as much as you can. All right, so wide knee child's pose. So come up to kneeling to start with. So we'll support the upper body on a bolster or cushions, whatever you have. So bring the bolster in front of you and then bring your knees apart. So we're gonna bring the knees as wide apart as they will. Draw the bolster in towards you and then let your upper body gently ease down. So take your time. So your big toes are together or close, knees wide and then upper body easing down. So take your time, nothing's rushed. Find your lovely position. Rest either cheek to your cushions and then just let go. Check your shoulders are really relaxed, face soft smooth, gentle breath. And so we don't get neck ache, we'll gently turn the head the other way, so the other cheek resting on your cushions, and then settle and sink here.
and then gently lift your upper body easing up good all right so pop your bolster to one side gently bring your knees together let everything settle nice deep breaths all right so we'll come to seal pose we're going to come to lay on our front and again, we're going to use bolsters to support us or cushions. So if you bring the bolster in close towards you, so it's supporting under your belly. So you can either have your elbows to the ground here, or if you want to go a little bit higher, rest your elbows on your bolster or cushions. So you're finding a nice comfortable position for you today. And then we'll let the head drop. So a lovely sense of sinking releasing check your head is completely dropped and then settle and breathe here Check your legs and buttocks are completely relaxed. Gently easing up, we lean into your elbows, coming up onto our knees, and we'll repeat coming to child's pose with the knees apart, like we did before. So bring your knees wide apart, draw the bolster in towards you, and then let your upper body relax downward here. So find your comfortable position, either cheek to your bolster, cushions. Take a few moments to settle and then just let go.
Gently turn your head to face the other way. And soften and relax here. Gently lift your upper body, easing up. So move your bolster to one side. Bring your knees together. We'll just have a couple of breaths. Let the body settle. Good, and then we'll come to swan and sleeping swan. So you may well want a bolster or cushions. For me, this smaller cushion is the right size for me. Actually, it's a draft excluder, but it's the perfect height for me in this position. But you might want more, you might want less. So we're gonna to come to cat position. So come up onto your hands and knees. And then we'll bring the right foot forward. We're gonna place the right knee next to or near the right hand. And then let your upper body sink down. So the cushion is sort of under the groin, so it's supporting us here, giving us a little bit of height. So we want to have the hips even here, so we don't want the right buttock all the way down and the left hip lifted. We're looking to drop that left hip down, so we're evenly in the position. Left leg going straight back, and then let your upper body ease downward here. So find your comfortable position. You might want cushions under your head to raise the ground a little bit if the head isn't comfortably to the ground and then just let go. You can rest either cheek to the surface. So the right foot is as far forward as comfortable. So you don't um, hurt the knee of course, so you have it as close in as you feel is right for you. But know that we're aiming to bring that foot further forward eventually. All right, and then let your body settle and sink. Gently turn your head the other way if you have it to one side.
gently lift your upper body, so easing up. So we can have the hands to the ground either side of our right knee, and then we're looking to get a nice opening through the front body, a nice bend through the back body, shoulders rolling down and relaxing here. I'm going to stay here too long and with your hands to the ground we're going to come back into cat position so bring the right foot back and then we'll bring the left leg forward placing your left knee near the left hand let the body settle so we're encouraging the left buttock down but probably most importantly we need to be dropping the right hip down. So the left foot as far forward as you're comfortable and then let your upper body ease down. So that lovely sense of letting go. Rest either cheek to the ground or your cushions or your hands, whatever's comfortable for you. And softening and releasing here. Gently turn your head to face the other way, resting that cheek to the surface beneath you. And just let go. gently lift your upper body, walk your hands back in towards your left knee, hand either side or fingertips either side, roll the shoulders back, chest forward, looking straight ahead, of course eyes can be closed and let your body settle here. back into cat, so leaning into your right knee, take the left foot back and we'll come back to child's pose again. So have whatever between your knees is a good height for you. Have just a small gap between the knees this time, so not wide and then let your upper body ease downward, either cheek to your cushions.
gently turn your head the other way. Gently lift your upper body, easing up, move your cushions and we'll just have a few breaths resting, let the shoulders drop. Good, alright so now we're going to come to square pose, so come to sit, stretch the legs forward. And I'd like you to bring your right foot and place it by your left knee. Take the left leg out a little bit so you can bring the foot sort of where the knee would have been. So keep the right foot there and then bring your left foot and place it onto your right knee. And let the hip settle here. So you might stay here if this feels far enough or you might, your foot might be closer in, whatever works is fine for you. And then we're going to let the upper body relax forward. So go to wherever you feel comfortable, which might mean there's very little movement here. That's absolutely fine. If you can go down quite low, you might like cushion or bolster to rest your upper body on, make it as high as you want, and then letting your body settle and release here. So if you are folded forward, rest either cheek to your cushions and then just let go. So softening and relaxing into the position, it's probably a very deep stretch for you through your left hip or wherever you're feeling it. Let the body settle and release. Turn your cheek to face the other way if your head is on your cushions. And gently lift your upper body. Good, so easing out. Move your cushion to one side and relax the legs away. I know that's a really strong stretch, isn't it? So let the legs settle, just give them a bit of a jiggle. And then circle your feet. And change direction. Good, so we're going to place the left foot this time, so bring the right leg out just a little bit. Place your left foot where the right knee was, and then place your right foot on top of your left knee. So you may well find one side very different to the other. So this side may be less movement coming forward, or you might need the foot closer in towards you, just adjust to however feels good for you. And then let your body come to wherever it feels it can comfortably stay. Remember, it's all about being comfortable. So let your body find its place this side. Head dropped, shoulders soft. And just letting go.
gently turn your head to face the other way and settle here. Gently ease back up, move your cushions to one side, relax your legs forward, ease them away, give the legs a bit of a jiggle and circle your feet, nice big circles and change direction. Good, well done. So now we'll come to caterpillar pose, so forward fold. So pile up your cushions. If you practice with me regularly, you know I like cushion between my feet, legs, that works for me. If you want really high piles and piles of cushions to settle into your caterpillar, of course, make it as high as comfortable for you. And then we'll let the upper body ease down. So take your time, nothing's rushed. Let your head drop. Find your place in caterpillar today. Rest either cheek, softening and releasing. Check your shoulders are soft. Feet relaxed, toes relaxed. Gently turn your head, face the other way, and settle here.
and gently lift your upper body, easing out. Move your cushions, everything to one side. And we'll circle the feet, nice big circles. And change direction. Good, and relax. All right, so we'll come to Shavasana, relaxation pose. Just let your body settle and sink into the ground beneath you. So letting your whole body relax, sinking into the ground. This is our time to absorb the benefits of the work we've just done, our practice. In these moments of stillness and relaxation, check your shoulders are soft, face relaxed. And letting the breath become more and more subtle till there's almost no breath at all. Sinking into these moments of stillness for a few minutes.
So do stay longer if you wish. If you're ready to come out, let your breath deepen. Gently rock your head from side to side. Start to move your fingers and toes, hands and feet. And then bring your arms over your head. Nice big stretch as we point the toes. And flex your feet. And relax. Hug your knees into your chest. Hands around and we'll make those lovely circles with the knees, massaging your back. And change direction. Stay at centre, each exhale, squeeze your knees in towards you. Inhale, release away a little. when you're ready. Lovely, well done. I do hope you enjoyed that and you feel lovely and nourished and stretched and wonderful throughout. Thank you so much for joining and I look forward to our next session together. Namaste.